Oh, that's dark. Hello. Okay, imagine trying to get out, man. Oh, there's some animal. I don't know if we go much further. We'll see. Oh, my. oh yeah, we go further for sure, dude. Oh, there's some weird cable or something. Oh yeah, this is a rope. Whoa. It's anchored into this rock. Yeah, but it is stirring up quickly. Oh shoot. That's sick. What is that? That's a snake. What is what? Dude, it might- Oh, it actually is, dude! Can you hear me? Big news, this weekend, former UFC fighter Francis Ngannou is going up against boxing's best, Tyson Fury. So of course I had to partner up with DraftKings to bring you guys some sweet deals. Right now, any new customer that bets just $5 on this weekend's fights will get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Now I know I said new customers, but existing customers can get on the action too with a no sweat same game parlay or SPGX if your bet doesn't hit. Max wagering limits apply. On top of that, DraftKings is making this weekend's main event even more exciting with live odds, fight props, and more. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code off the ranch, bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code off the ranch only at DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours. We are back here at the cave. Mayor said she wanted to go in this time. Let's go, Mayor. So Mayor's going all the way. Just kidding. She's. I'm, I'm going to go first. I'm going to go further than everyone. <laughs> all right, so I need a shot. Roman is actually going in. You, are, you ready? I'm ready, dude. Roman bought us some old used wetsuits. <laughs> Even today. glow sticks. And glow sticks. It's official. So the problem we had last time, we got, we got very cold. So this time we got wetsuits to go in there. The last time I had a map that showed about like 10 meters into this cave and then a question mark. We went much further than that. Um, that map was made in the 80s, like 87 or something. Since I put the video up, someone sent me a new map that was made in 1975. Ryan, thank you for sending this. Um, the blue line, I, I figured out the blue line is how far we went. We went to there. And it goes over twice that distance and then has a question mark. Like it keeps going. They just didn't go any further. There's also two siphons or sumps. They call them, I think it's the same thing. I'm not really sure about cave terminology. But that's where you have to go underwater. So we're not going to cross any siphons. We're not going as far as this map goes. Uh, I'm going to wait until some real cave divers come in. But we are going to go a little bit further than last time to see what's through that last little narrow part because I can see that it opens up again. So I'm hoping we get past uh, the Poseidon part. Well, it looks like my kid drew that. I mean, yeah, it was dr drawn by some crazy drunk guy in the 70s probably. At least it's one shot. It doesn't look like you, a maze. No, it's not a maze. There's really only one major tunnel. There's a couple little branches that come off, but they end really quickly. You ready for some cave crickets? <laughs> Yeah. Sounds like a new cereal. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, don't forget, we're still running our sale on Link Active, and uh, you could win a 1980 El Camino. Ugh. We're going to run that for just a little while longer, um, and we're going to pick one of you guys to win our America Painted El Camino. I don't think I've ever put a wetsuit on. This is really hard. <laughs> anyway, uh, don't forget about our sale. Check it out. Can you tell out. us more about this as you try to not follow? Wait, you're putting it on backwards. <laughs> Stand on one oh, you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah. That's the back. <laughs> <laughs> why did you let him get it all the way on first? How do you zip it up from the back? Yeah. You have to That's have a buddy. why it has such a long string. Got you. Okay, anyway, you get to check out these shorts a little bit longer. Uh, they're really nice, super comfy, and they're on sale. Plus, you can get your wife some stuff. Mare's wearing Link Active. Jenna, are you wearing Link Active? I am. Yeah. Jenna's got Link Active on. I do. Anyway. Bro, honestly, your thighs look amazing. Thanks. Because of the shorts or just, just the Link Active? Thanks. Link in the description below. <laughs> I just realized we're going back in the cave. I'm full of regret. You nervous? Yeah, I'm getting nervous again. I'm not as nervous as before because we all lived. Well, except Mikey, but... Rip. Is that why Mikey's yeah. not with us? Yeah, have you noticed you haven't seen Mikey this trip? He's he's in the hospital. Oh, They're not sure if he's going to pull through. Hair's going in, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Don't drink the water. I hear a rattle. <laughs> you hear that? That's a scary joke here. <laughs> Rattlesnakes can't bite through these, right? Yeah, they for sure. I'm zipped up, right? Yeah, for sure. You're good. <laughs> Mikey went right. You can make it right, but it just sucks. You should That's why Clint bailed, because he went right. And oh. he was like, I'm not doing this. But if you go left, there's a little more room. And then once you get through it, it's like six feet of like breathing through like this. And you have to cock your head to the side. Once you get through that, there's a freaking head hole. And you can just put your whole head in it, and you can breathe great. Head hole was full of crickets. So good luck with that. So, all right. 
I have so much anxiety with them going in. Mm -hmm. I was freaking out when I went Y'all are going to come get us though, right? If we get stuck? Not I, I already said no. What? <laughs> Clint was like, I can't breathe. And I was like, get out. Get out right now. Like, I got, I was like starting to get out. Clint would be a hard one to drag breathe. out. out. We're going to come out like an hour late and like, why is the cars for sale? <laughs> You're just selling everything? Just thought we were the gone. girls are on vacation? We're goners. Oh my gosh. You know, it almost looks like there's been a head like cut out of here. Yeah, it really does. You guys good? Yeah. yeah. We've made it eight feet. <laughs> I've already drank in this water. Yeah, it's been in my mouth. We lived. Dude, I'm so much warmer with this wetsuit on. Dude, this is heaven, right? Yep. Okay, like yeah, you're through the worst part, Roman. Dude, I can stand on my, I can sit up. Yeah, that was the worst part. Woo! Nice work. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I thought I could stand up, I can't. <laughs> Did, hey, did you, did you stand up in here? Yeah, you can stand. Isn't that cool? This is crazy, look. Whoa. Whoa, there's some crickets. <laughs> it's so refreshing, honestly. It does feel, it's so much better than without. So this is just wide open here. Huh? So we can just keep going. Yeah, go left, that's the way. So we're getting, we're probably like halfway as far as I've been. And no rattlesnakes yet. Really? Isn't this cool? The water's beautiful. How is there this much water just chilling here? What is that? Oh, there's some animal. Huh? There's like a salamander or something. Oh, I saw a worm. Yeah, it's a worm or a salamander or something in there. Whoa, look at this cricket. Right here. <laughs> He's swimming. Hey, little guy. Whoa, he jumps. I didn't know they jumped. Yeah, there's like a salamander up on that wall. Cool. I don't know why I'm leading. Yeah, you're good, dude. Mystery cave. Roman said if one of our lights go out, is there a light? And I was like, no, it's a cave. I don't have a backup light. Just this <laughs> hey, just for fun, let's turn our lights off. All right. Oh. Oh, I see your glow stick. Hello. Oh, that's dark. Hello. Okay, imagine trying to get out now. Oh, that would be the like, worst. Like, do a 360 spin and then try to get out. Yeah, that'd be the worst. <laughs> oh, all right. Keep going. This is dope. Isn't this cool? Yeah. Cave tours led by Roman and Matt. Hey, watch the big waves. That's what stirs up the rattlesnakes. All right, so at the end of this passage, it gets really narrow, and then it looks like it opens back up after that. What's to the left here? I never went this way. Oh, that's too tiny. Not, not doing that. The ground we're walking on is all this super sharp stuff too. So it's like very sharp floor underneath this water. This is where I finally got scared and called it. I don't blame like you. Oh, it's, it's deep here. Yeah, I know, I was like standing up. Oh shoot, dude, this is, there's stuff underneath here to the left also. Man. What's in there? I wish I brought a mask for snorkeling. Yeah. This is really pretty water. What's in there? It, this stuff is so crumbly. It looks like we could keep going. Let's keep going. It's got a very hollow, like, I think it. Glass now. I think it gets bigger based on the map, but I don't know if we have to go through a diving part to get there. Well, this is pretty tight right here. Is it? This is pretty tight right here. Well, we can definitely do it. This is uncharted territory for me. I mean, I'm trying. You want me to jump up there and go first? It's, it's very, very slick mud. Yeah. And my knee's about six inches under mud right now. Oh, let me go first. I want to see this. I'm gonna pass you. I don't know. You have to squeeze in, little buddy. <laughs> Dude, it's oh, so I can... slick, I can't keep my foot Dude, like falling. I wanna go underwater right here. Oh, it's gonna get my GoPro audio on. Mm, it's all mud. Yeah, it's gonna get my out of Look at these little stalactite things floating. Dude, the water was crystal clear and now it's very muddy. Yeah. Can you guys still hear us? We're on our own. <laughs> oh, that is mud. That's yep. slick, dude. I like was sliding under. <laughs> yep, this is less fun. <laughs> It's like Royal Caribbean water back there. Yeah, but it is stirring up quickly. Oh shoot! Does it open up? I don't know. We're all getting a little sketch now. <laughs> oh man, yeah, no, this is... No get it? It's so... The ceiling's just so low. There's a stick floating back here. Something's been in here. I don't know if we go much further, we'll see. I guess it's after all that. Holy cow, this goes so far. Oh my, oh yeah, we go further for sure, dude. Holy cow. Yeah, this is cool. But I don't know if we go further without oxygen. 
The comments were really getting mad at me. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, with undisturbed water, you can like knock like stuff out of the water. Uh -huh. Are y'all gonna come back here or no? No, I'm just chilling. Okay. You want to come? I mean, I would say let's come to this point. Okay. And then we can call it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can see really far, but I don't think we should go any further. You have to hold your breath to get through some of these spots. Yeah. Whoa, cool. You can stand here. I mean, there's still there's still crickets here. I feel like that means... Uh, kind of delicious one. That means there's oxygen, right? Look at this. Whoa. It just goes so much further. No way. We don't I think have, we gotta go down this one. We don't have an oxygen tester, but there's crickets back here. I'm breathing. <laughs> so I think you start getting like drunk feeling. Oh, and I was go. already drunk when I got in here, so. <laughs> All right, ready? I do kind of just want to see what, like where it ends. Oh, there's some weird cable or something. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what? I read oh, on the map. Huge. Dude, I read on the map that there was a rope, a guide rope. This is probably the first siphon where you have to go underwater. Oh yeah, this is a rope. Whoa. It's anchored into this rock. This rope has gotta be, I don't know, old, old, but it's still good. So this is their guide rope. Dude, I don't wanna go further. Are we going further? Oh my <laughs> Let's just gosh. keep going. Dude. Now I think with the concerns of oxygen. Yeah, I think it's probably I good. didn't know that was a thing. Because if one of us passes out, we're all gonna start passing out and we won't be able to drag each other out. So, we need some actual cave divers with oxygen to come down here, or at least some testers, to see if there's enough oxygen. This is so cool. Yeah, we went, we definitely went twice as far as we, no, probably, probably one and a half times as far as we've gone before. How sick. Dude, what is that? That's a snake. What is what? Dude, it went, oh, it actually is, dude! <laughs> <laughs> what was that piece of rope? Dude, it was a snake! You brought that just <laughs> Dude, if that would have been floating past me, I would have freaked. He's got red eyes too. <laughs> it just keep every time we go further, it makes another turn, and it's far. Can you hear me? Just silence. <laughs> silence. Just silence. A little eerie. Hello. Cool. <laughs> Love that. Oh my god. Scream. What is my life? <laughs> <laughs> just a slow burning anxiety. It's not slow burning anymore. It's just like a dumpster fire <laughs> anxiety. It's peaceful. That's because we're getting drunk and passing out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> god, I just want to go down there so bad. Yeah, no kidding. Like we found a freaking guide rope. That's cool. That is really cool. Oh, there's the guide rope's been down there so long there's like stalactites growing on it. This is nuts. Oh, totally stepped on your sharp rock. Man, that thing is sharp. Uh, I got a hole in my rock. Oh man, it's just like a razor blade. Imagine starting to bleed bad back here. Oh, never make it out. All right, we are getting out of this cave now. So this kind of stuff's not that bad. Mm -hmm. But then it gets just so freaking low. Right here, before it gets real bad. <laughs> The water clunking around in these holes. It's so loud. Luckily, this cave has head holes so you can get through. Roman, are you gone? Did you just run out of here? I'm right here. <laughs> Roman, don't leave me. I'm right here, but I'm lost. I can't find anyone. So, last time I was in this cave, I was a lot more nervous, and that made it seem way harder. And we also, it took me a lot longer to get to here to where I am. And I was freezing, which made me shake a lot. This is really cool. Being warm has made a huge difference. And I would totally go further if we had oxygen. This is the cool room where like, you can stand in here. Yeah. Ah. It's very nerve wracking crawling through, but once you're in here, I'm, I'm wildly comfortable. Yeah. Maybe it's the lack of oxygen talking. Yeah, it's, it's definitely that you, you can't feel your body anymore. Your brain's not. Like, find something. Brain's not working right. Why would somebody hide stuff down here? Bodies and things. It's never gonna be found. So we're low. Oh. Uh, we have two uh, army crawl. Come here. Your ear has to go underwater. Oh, I see light coming. If I have an ear infection this week and I ask you guys, why is my ear hurt? If you have an ear infection, that, that's probably gonna be the best case scenario after being that far in the cave. Oh. We're gonna have some other infections. Hey. You made it! Well, 
We don't have the cameraman, but Bro and I made it. <sighs> so it felt like we went so much further, but right here it says bolt set in wall. We found that. Yeah, we did. So we went, yeah, it was probably one and a half times. So we start here. We made it there last time. We made it here this time. It doesn't take long to get there. It doesn't. It, we're cruising through. Yeah. But we made it all the way to bolt set in wall. We still, yeah, we need to get scuba gear and go further. I mean, I don't. Somebody does. I was perfect until he mentioned lack of oxygen. You're like, sure. yeah. And I was like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't go anywhere. Yeah. I can feel it down So there. I read your comments. Everyone's you like, oh, yeah. don't mess up like the water because then gases come out of still water and you run out of oxygen, you start feeling drunk and you pass out. And I'm like, I don't want to pass out in water. So I don't we, want to pass out anywhere. All right, Weirdly we out, actually bro. have some cave divers that are coming out though soon. Soon, way more cave content coming your way. Um, they're going to come out here and they're going to actually go explore far in here and it's going to be freaking, I can't wait. We're back. Uh, new brakes going on that. We have a new windshield coming in because that one, you know, has a human sized hole. This thing is shaping up great. But I just actually got a call from Holden Bros that Pearl is fixed because yeah, she broke right after the last video where I said she was fixed. Hey. How's it looking, Doc? Man, um, not too good, brother. Not too good. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was hilarious how we welded the thing on and we left and we're like, hey, yeah. man, it's so cool. Oh, yeah, I didn't tell you what happened. So <laughs> we started it up, which it wasn't doing before, and we were like, yeah, it's fixed. And so I text my guy, I'm like, the driver, I'm like, hey, man, good to go. And then an hour later, he's like, did you put this thing in drive? It won't go. So it starts, but it wouldn't drive. Yeah, so we... Um, Basically, real quick rundown. The clutch was slipping bad enough that it's eaten all this, all ceramic material. Nothing and, uh, on there anymore. No, man, it grooved it to death. Grooved the pressure plate to death. Overheated, it's got cracks, it's rainbow colored. So what happened was this was slipping a little bit at a time until it slipped so much that this was had to have been like glowing red underneath, inside the bell housing. This expanded to the point where this ring... Look at these great welds, though. Yeah, they, <laughs> we saw that it was never welded. It's press fit. Yep. So the flywheel got so hot, it expanded, and the ring no longer... Whenever this cooled down, the ring no longer fit, which is why we had to weld it back on. Yep. So um, we thought we were going to be good to go, and it was something simple, but I needed a clutch, man. Not That's wrong. The we, bottom line. We should have known we were, when I actually said... This is too easy. I think I did say that. You did. I was, yeah, I jinxed it, my bad. <laughs> yeah. My bad, but we got- we should be good now. We got new clutch, new parts. Steven balled out of control, man. I he think, made some magic happen for me, I dude. think Pearl is gonna be good for at least four days until I'm, I'm back with it. Yeah, like we shouldn't see you this week. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, it's Please. Wednesday. Though. I hope not. Wednesday afternoon, we should see you again this yeah. week. Sweet, well, wish me luck. All right, good luck. Okay, big girl, let's do this. Pearl's such a joy to drive, I totally forgot that you guys are here. So anyway, just drove Pearl all the way to the resort. She's bad. She's ready to rock. She's ready to load up those sheep over there and get them the heck out of here because they're pooping everywhere. Gosh, she's going to need new tires soon. Jeez. So these are the brand new ones I showed you last time. We only ran her for like a day, so they look fine. But man, all these old tires are really getting chewed up on this rocky ground. All right, Pearl. Glad to see you back. Let's keep you here for a while this time, please. So at Bunker Branding now, we have this wall behind us where we have put banners all over it. We print these in-house, no big deal. But we uh, we updated it. So my banner used to go from here, that's me, used to go from here, like all the way across. Roman had a big one. Uh, a lot of people had doubled. This is a four by four is how big these squares are. We had a lot of people with four by eights. Mine was like four by 16 or something, but we started getting so many people, so many influencers that we are doing merch for at Bunker Branding that we were like, let's just make everybody four by four. So we took down all the big ones, including mine and Roman's, and uh, we gave everyone a brand new four by four banner. So we just got, yeah, we got a ton of people. You'll probably see your favorite influencers up here on the walls. Some of them you probably didn't even know that we were doing, but we have tons of dudes here getting their merch printed right here in Bernie, Texas at Bunker Branding. So to all the influencers, Instagrammers, YouTubers who have trusted Bunker Branding to do your merch for a long time, I appreciate you. For all the new guys we have as well, welcome to the bunker. We have three shipping containers here. We have two on the side of the building over there and they're totally packed with stuff. Completely full in here. Also, this is uh, an inverter and a battery and solar panel on top of the roof. And uh, yeah, lights running off of all of that that we installed a while back, still working. But as you can see, these things are packed and they're all like that. 
and we're trying to consolidate because I want to steal one of these shipping containers and take them out to the resort. Secret stuff happening, but you'll like it. Also, we're gonna help some of you guys out who've been ordering stuff. We got some cash here. I'm gonna set you right there. And we're gonna put you in some random orders. Ooh, almost ripped it. Um, this is uh, Phoebe Burley. What you want? You want some I want money? one. And Phoebe, she ordered a, oh, it's all Smile More stuff. Yeah, <laughs> Phoebe's getting 20 bucks. Yeah, let's go Phoebe. Good job, Phoebe. Uh, who you got? Bubby Hilliard? Bubby? Bubby. His name is really Bubby. It's Bubby. Right. Bubby gets 20 bucks. Oh. Zach Jansen ordered uh, some demolition gear. We're gonna throw 20 bucks in your order. What'd they get? Oh, shout out Jennifer. She ordered, she did a Smile More and demo order, dude. It's like a nice And thing. a bunker shirt. Yeah. And a Desperado shirt. A full. All right, hey, that's, that's give her 40 bucks. Honestly, let's double down. All right, get her some more, get her some more. She just paid for her whole order. Thanks, Jennifer. You know what? Wait, hold on, never mind. <laughs> just kidding, Jennifer. <laughs> 40 bucks for you. We're just gonna randomly throw that in some bunker orders over the next couple days, so. You guys are asking a lot about my muscle routine, my workout routine, how I get so big. Like, you're like, Matt, you should be Mr. Olympia this year. I haven't made any workout routine videos, but Roman's actually making one, and I'm gonna be in it. So if you wanna see me, if you want to see me work out, go check out Roman's channel. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for uh, being interested in that cave because I want to see what's back there. So we're going to keep pushing. I just got to make sure we do it safely. So we're trying. We're going to get to back of that cave. Well, maybe. We're going to get really far in there eventually and see. Uh, actually, next week I have some guys coming out who are going to make me go a little bit further. They know a little more about it than I do. So thanks for watching. I love you. I'll see you next time. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mare. <laughs>